frustrated. I'm just so frustrated with this baseball team. They come out in game two of this series. They get blown out nine to two. It was embarrassing. Nick Pavetta stinks. I mean, how many times are we going to watch this kid go up there on the mound and just struggle? All right, listen to this stat by Corey Seidman, and this is so telling. 84 fastballs in his last two outings. Four swing and misses. I mean, how can you be successful in this league if you can't blow a damn fastball by somebody? I understand that there are some pitchers out there that thrive off ground ball outs, but it's not like he's getting that either. Nick Pavetta is atrocious. He sucks. And how long are we going to have to watch this kid go on the mound consistently? It's not helping this ball club whatsoever. He's atrocious. It's embarrassing. It's so pathetic. It really is. Five and two-thirds. He allowed allows five earned runs. He allowed two three-run bombs. And I know the first bomb by, who was it, Donaldson in the fourth. I know that he didn't get the best help defensively with that play by Reese Hoskins where he tries to go for a double play at second. It hits off the base runner. Gene Segura gets hit in the chest. It's now first and third. I understand he wasn't put in the best situation there in that moment. But I'm, I'm sorry, he's just bad. And the, leaving these pitches in bad locations, leaving the pitches wide, uh, you know, right right down the pipe, right in the middle of the strike zone. It's not going to be effective, and that's exactly what he did with that Austin Riley three-run bomb to go down 6-2. to two. I mean, we fight back. We're down 3 nothing. We fight back. Make it 3-2. to two. Bryce Harper hits a home run. JT Real Mucho ends up knocking in Reese Hoskins, but he gets thrown out after that, so that was a little bit stupid, but it is what it is. And Just like that. Just like that, another three-run bomb just blows the game open there in the sixth inning. Juan Nicasio comes in. He was atrocious. Holy hell, was that just on another level of vomit worthy out of Juan Nicasio? And realistically, I mean, he's been uh, pretty good all June. And well, now it's July. And it didn't add up that he was good all June. I'll say that. It didn't make sense that he was doing well. And well, here's a new month. And all right, good luck. Good luck, Juan Nicasio. Let's see if you can duplicate that. Not off to a great start, though. Not off to a great start to duplicate that June. I'm pissed off at this offense, too. They're not getting a break. They're going up against Bryce Wilson. I swear to you, every time I make these recap videos, I say the same damn thing. Oh, I didn't know that guy won a Cy Young. Oh, I didn't know that guy was so great. He was so dominant. They're not. They're not dominant. I mean, this team is what it is. They're a half game back. Uh, the Nats. The Nats are a half game back of the Phillies. Tomorrow's going to be so telling to me. Zach Eflin's on the mound. If the Phillies don't win this game and we lose a series to uh, the Braves, and I, that, that's not the, the, you know, the most hideous thing in the world. Right now it is because of the fact of where we are against the Braves, but I'm saying the Braves are solid. They are a great team. Losing to the Braves in a series isn't the same as losing to the Marlins in a series is what I'm essentially getting at. It's okay to lose to the Braves in a series because they're a good team is what I'm trying to say. It kills you in the standings at the end of the day, but it's a respectful team is, is pretty much what I'm trying to define here. But if we lose this series, the trajectory of this team is just garbage. It's bad. It's not good enough. It's the common theme that I say all the time. Bad pitching, bad offense. Who wins in this league with bad pitching and bad offense? Tell me, please. I'm listening. I'm sitting here listening. Tell me. Tell me who wins. I'm fired up after this loss. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what this team is. Tomorrow's going to be telling. You win, a, you win a game tomorrow, you win the series. I have a different outlook on where this team is going. We'd be four and a half games back at that point. It would be a different scenario. Fall, fall tomorrow, and I'm just pissed off. I'm pissed off at that point. More pissed off than I already am right now because I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of watching Nick Pavetta go out there every single game. He threw a little tantrum the other game where he got pulled. It's because you suck, bro. It's because you're bad. It's because you're not good enough. You're just not good enough. And how long are we going to have to watch it? How long is this front office going to put this trash in front of us and say, please watch, please watch. And I don't want to see you watch Nick Pavetta. Why? Why? He's not good. He's not good. The fastball stat, sickening. The homers he allows, sickening. He's allowed so many home runs in his last few starts. On top of that, since June 1st, our bullpen's ERA is 6.70. Is that good enough? So hold on, let me get this straight. Our bullpen hasn't been good. 
Our starting pitching hasn't been good. And our hitting hasn't been good? Wow. Wow. No wonder we're underachieving. No wonder we're underachieving. This team is, is ridiculous. The team is ridiculous. I'd watch. I would watch. If I was upper management, I would watch what we do with the deadline. I'm not over buying. I'm not trying out making these big splashes. Realistically, the team's just not good enough. I'm not giving away the future stuff for a, for a hope of a wild card game. I'm just not. I'm sorry. I'm just not. I know the nature of the beast in this league is if you're in the race, if you're fighting for it, you buy. But I'm watching. I'll buy. I'll buy. But I'm watching what I'm doing. I'm not selling too much. I'm not giving up prospects for maybe a wild card game, maybe a first game loss, and then you're exiting the playoffs. We're not as good as we thought. Now watch. Tomorrow we win. Like I said, my mindset changes. Because then we would win this series against the Braves. But I've seen this story. I mean, big picture, I've seen this story. I've seen Nick Pavetta. I know what he does. He leaves pitches up. He can't blow the pitches by anyone. He throws a tantrum on the mound. He pouts. I've seen it. Big picture, I know. The Nats are playing better baseball than us right now. The Braves are definitely playing better baseball than us. Right now, when it comes to how the teams are playing and the styles of play right now, we're the third best team in the NL East. In the NL East. I wish I was talking about the National League in its entirety. I'm talking about the damn division. And there's the the argument of, Oh, look what you did. You signed Bryce Harper. We're not where we are now because of Bryce Harper. The reason we're underachieving is not because of Bryce Harper. It's because this damn team as a whole, the collective unit, isn't performing to where we can. It's not performing to the level it's capable of. That's why. Six hits. Six hits. Sloppy play in the field. How do you win ball games? How do you win ball games? Top of the lineup, Scotty went 0 for 4. Gene Segura went 0 for 3, I believe. He had a walk in there. Top of the lineup. What are they doing? What are they doing? Like I said, keep your eyes out for on Franco. He's probably going to go back into that ugly stretch. Now, you're going to have to live and die with it because you're going to live and die with that over, say, Sean Rodriguez. You're going to have to live and die with Franco's pop if he can get a hold of one. But if he goes through that brutal ugliness again where he's hitting almost under 200, well, then that's going to hurt. Because guess what? When we were winning games, what was he doing? Crushing the baseball. Irritated. Irritated. Really, I am. To throw up a game like this. It's baseball. There's 162 games. I know that. To throw up a stinker like this against the Braves after your win yesterday, 2-0 after a gem, a gem by Aaron Nola. Having an opportunity in game two of a series to make a damn statement. You follow it up with this ass kicking. But why? Why am I surprised? Why? Do you see who's on the mound? He's horrible. He's horrible. Horrible. When will you just realize that? No more breakout Pavetta. Just no more. Hot, hot, hot garbage. And I'm fed up with it. I'm fed up with it. If you couldn't tell. If you couldn't tell. So this game fueled me up. This game fired me up. Tomorrow I hope I'm I'm raw rawing. Hopefully I'm raw raw and waving the pom-poms. Fired up happy as hell. We win a series. I hope I'm that way. Because a win tomorrow will change it. I'm just being straight up honest with you. Tomorrow I will feel completely different. Game by game I go. But this is a common theme that I continue to see with this ball club. 
And I don't know how it's going to change. This is just what it is. At some point, you just need to face facts. What are we, 86 games into the season? Is this not what we are? Is this not what this ball club is? They drive me crazy. This damn team drives me nuts. That's the beauty of it. That's what I signed up for, right? That's what I signed up for. Hey, bro, to watch every damn game and react to it. Well, here you go. It's unbelievable. It really is. It's unbelievable what I put myself through with this this team. That's all I got for you. I mean, really, that's all I got for you. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.